and welcome to this week's edition of Sidelines. I'm Jimmy Johnson. We have all the championship coverage you could want and more, and we'll start with our two newly crowned champions, American Field Hockey and Lehigh Women's Soccer. For the American Eagles, it was title number eight as they scored 14 goals in two games to win the title. American opened the tournament with an easy 8-1 win over the fourth seed at Colgate Raiders. Melissa Casale and Shelly Montgomery each scored two goals, and Ann Van Erp had two assists to lead the Eagles to their eighth straight Patriot League title game. In the other semifinal, Bucknell jumped out to an early 1-0 lead thanks to one of Kelly Bruvick's two goals in the game. Both came off of fast breaks. But the Bison couldn't stop the corners. Lafayette had 13 in all and scored on three of them. A couple minutes later, Kristen Heaney tied the game with this goal here, and Maggie Cheeky scored off a corner 13 minutes later to make it 2-1. But Kelly Bruvick, helped by some great passes, the last one coming from Rachel Misko, tied it at 2-2 just before the half. The corners kept coming and Cheeky cashed in with less than five minutes left to give the Leopards a 3-2 win. So with the win, the Leopards earn a chance at redemption against the Eagles, setting up a rematch of the 2009 Patriot League Championship game. But it was not to be. American scored early and often, led by Melissa Casal, who made it 1-0 six minutes into the game. And less than two minutes later, the Offensive Player of the Year, Christine Finger, who deflected the shot by Kirsten Gebhardt to make it 2-0. The Eagles pushed it to 3 0 minutes into the second half. Gina Hoffman set up this goal, and she would later score on a corner to make it 6 1. Megan Cheeky would cut the score to 6 2, but it was too late. The Eagles win their eighth straight title since joining the Patriot League, and they did it with offense. Six goals in a championship game added to the eight against Colgate broke the Patriot League record. The Eagles scored 11 in 2005 to set the original record. Melissa Casal led the Eagles with three goals, helping clinch a title that was on their mind since last November. It's, it's a lot of work, and so there's a great sense of uh, relief and pride in the team being able to accomplish something that we set out to do with goals as far back as last November. And, uh, you know, the, this group as, as a whole has pushed extraordinarily hard throughout the spring and summer to be ready for this moment. And uh, I'm glad that the, with the season we've been having that we are able to put the, the finishing touch on the league title. Eagles turned around on Monday and defeated MAC champion Kent State to qualify for the NCAA tournament. The Eagles will play UConn at 2 p.m. Saturday in College Park, Maryland. The women's soccer team needed much less offense to win their title. One goal in each game was all they needed to secure their first title in school history. In the first semifinal between Army and Colgate, we'll start in overtime where Erringer Helbling gets a chance early to score the game winner, but Ashley Walsh is there for the save. It didn't take long for the Knights to get another chance. Carly Turnage fires this shot to the back of the net in the 92nd minute to advance Army to the final for the second time in three years. Turnage ends up with the game winner and Kim On picked up the assist. Alex Losetter made four saves to post her 31st career shutout, tying a Patriot League record. Colgate's Ashley Walsh made four saves. On to the other semifinal, it was a game of goal scoring controversy between Bucknell and Lehigh. Lehigh was the first to have a goal disallowed after Liz Carlos pounced on a rebound and beat Sandita McDermott. But the official ruled her to be offside, so the score remained nothing nothing. Bucknell had the same thing happen as the Bison thought they scored off a corner, and they were stuck at 0 0 until Natalie Honaki broke the deadlock in the 60th minute with a high rising shot. Mainz picked up the shutout, making eight saves in the game. Lena Cannon had the assist on Honaki's fifth goal of the season. Bucknell's Sandita McDermott made six saves. Fast forward to Sunday, it was Army and Lehigh facing each other in the Patriot League final for the first time. The Black Knights were looking for their third title and the Mountain Hawks were in search of their first. Lehigh pressured early as Liz Carlos's shot goes just wide of Army keeper Alex Lostetter. She and the Army defense had allowed just five goals all season. That would change Sunday, but not before Army nearly took a second half lead. Rookie of the Year Kim on dished into the box where Erringer Helbling fired a shot off the post and wide. Lehigh would counter later in the second half as Jana Basubis pushed the ball out wide to Jenna Pepe, who crossed to Liz Carlos for the settle and the score. It was all Lehigh needed. Army put together one last chance in the final 10 minutes, but Pasubis was there for the defensive save off the header, and the tournament's MVP, Lauren Maines, took care of the follow-up shot to secure the championship. Carlos pushed her team-best goal total to seven with her game winner, and Maines made five saves, 13 in all during the flawless tournament. Lostetter made three saves and finishes her career one shutout short of setting a new Patriot League record. Hawks qualified for the NCAA tournament and will face number two seed at Virginia in the first round on Friday. For Lehigh, Liz Carlos' goal was one for the history books. It was also a great moment for first-year head coach Eric Lambinas. Here's the story.
Liz Carlos led the Lehigh women's soccer team with six goals during the regular season. The Army women's soccer team gave up just five goals all season. So if she was to get number seven Sunday in the Patriot League championship game, Army was going to have to give up number six. That's easier said than done against a defense that had 16 shutouts in 2010. But Carlos did it. Their defense is phenomenal. They have been all year. Uh, we just had to try and slip it in behind them because we knew that we had to like keep working it because they're so hard to break down. Uh, the first time we played them, we couldn't. And uh, this time we got lucky. Jenna set me up with a beautiful cross and I had the easy part just putting it in there. The easy part came in the 76th minute and gave Lehigh the only goal it needed to win its first Patriot League title in school history. It's amazing, we're making history. I mean, we have three four-year seniors and three fifth-year seniors who've waited a long time for this, and it's just so exciting to finally uh, reach the championship and win. It's also a great moment for their head coach, Eric Lambinas, who took over this season as Lehigh coach. It's a great feeling. The girls deserved it. You know, what I mean, they've earned it. You know, they spent, uh, we had a couple tough years. Um, they worked their tail off. Uh, they were accepting of a new coach, um, and they're the ones that earned it on the field every day, um, not just on the games we played, but every day in training. They were unbelievable. They also were resilient, fighting through Army's second half push, which included a shot that caromed off the post. Shortly thereafter, the Mountain Hawks were able to break down the Army defense. That's kind of how the games go sometimes. I thought we played well in the first half. I thought Army was unbelievable coming out in the second half. And um, we knew we kind of had to weather that storm right um, in the beginning. We did. Our, our keeper made some great saves, our defensive. Um, our back line played awesome. And then we knew once we turned it, um, I thought we'd have, we'd have an opportunity to score. And I think um, we did that. So we turned it around and, and created the opportunity. And we created a number of chances after that as well. Lehigh prevented a lot of chances, too, thanks to their keeper, Lauren Maines, who was named MVP of the tournament after two shutouts. She's been awesome since I arrived here at Lehigh. She's been one of the, one of the best players, most consistent, most solid. Um, we, we broke in some new backs this year, and we gave up some goals earlier in the year. But we knew they were playing well, and we knew that the opportunities would come to, to get shutouts. And it's unbelievable that you know, in the two most important games of our season, we had two shutouts. And um, has everything to do with how good she is, how good she is on a regular basis. And I have a feeling that that's even why we score a lot of great goals, is because we play against a great goaltender all year. And it's great that she finally gets the recognition. And that's her first award, really, um, in her four years. And I, in my opinion, that's the most important one. That and the championship trophy, she helped her teammates hoist high in the air Sunday. The championship season is winding down with only two more tournaments left in the fall season. The men's soccer Patriot League tournament is next on the list and will kick off on Friday. Colgate will host a Patriot League men's soccer tournament for the second time in three years. The Raiders hosted the tournament in 2008 when they won their fourth Patriot League title and second straight. Another title this weekend would make it three in four years. The top-seeded Raiders will open the tournament Friday with a game against the fourth-seeded Bucknell Bison, who enter the tournament as the defending champs. The other semifinal pits number two-seeded Lehigh and third-seeded American. The league final will be at 1 p.m. Sunday. Here's a closer look at each playoff team. Colgate finished 8-5-5 overall and 5-0-2 in the Patriot League. The Raiders used defense to win the top seed, posting the league's second-best goals against average at 0.87. Patriot League Keeper of the Year Chris Miller anchored the defense with 51 saves. He was second in the league with a 0.94 goals against average. Stephen Miller led the Raiders on offense with five goals and two assists, followed by Matt Schuber, who had four goals and two assists. Colgate, which was ranked in the nation's top 25 midway through the season, drew even with Bucknell 3-3 in their first matchup. Bucknell finished the season 8-8-2 overall and 3-2-2 in the Patriot League. The Bison have struggled defensively, giving up a league-worst 1.67 goals per game, but their offense has made up for it. Bucknell has scored 11 more goals than any other tournament team and averages 1.61 per game. Tommy McCabe and Patriot League Offensive Player of the Year Brendan Bergdorf tied for the league lead in points with 14 apiece. McCabe had three goals and eight assists, and Bergdorf had six goals and two assists. Josh Plump is also in the league's top ten with four goals scored, and Malwa Ali was named the Rookie of the Year in the Patriot League. Like Colgate, Lehigh was tough on defense all season, posting a 0.91 goals against average thanks to the Defensive Player of the Year, Kevin Strunk. The Mountain Hawks earned a second seed, finishing 8-7-2 overall and 4-2-1 in the Patriot League. Lehigh beat American 2-1 earlier this season, scoring two second-half goals. 
Austin Decker, who ranks eighth in the league with three goals, net at one of them. Lehigh's Joe Paleo finished as the team's top scorer with four goals. Keeper Jonathan Neidl posted a .792 save percentage and a 0.96 goals against average. American finished 6-8-3 overall and 3-2-2 in the Patriot League, earning a third seed through a tiebreaker with Bucknell. The Eagles enter the tournament not having won a game in more than a month. American is 0-3-3 in its last six games dating back to October 9th. American schedule included five teams that were ranked in the top 25 at some point during the 2010 season. Alassane Kane tied for the league lead in goals with six, and Jamie Davin was second in the league with six assists. Keeper Matt Mikowski, who earned a second team nod, averaged 4.5 saves per game and posted a 1.09 goals against average. There isn't a tournament in football, but the Patriot League Championship is on the line this weekend. The Lehigh Mountain Hawks can secure the title with a win this weekend. Looking at the updated standings, Lehigh holds a two-game lead and with a win over Georgetown this weekend could clinch sole possession of the title. If they lose, they could also clinch the title in the regular season finale at Lafayette on November 20th. Be sure to log on to PatriotLeague.com to follow this weekend's Patriot League action. And remember, you can watch the entire men's soccer championship on all access. And of course, if you missed anything, be sure to catch next week's edition of Sidelines for a full recap. Don't forget to sign up and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and find out more about the 20th anniversary of the Patriot League by logging on to our website. That's all for our show this week. We thank you for joining us and we'll see you again next week.